what's up goodies welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen how to cook and today we're making quick ital stew in the kitchen fast easy and simple when you're ready to cook come on let's cook <music> okay goodies let's talk about our peas here now we have some red kidney beans and we have some dried pigeon peas or gungo peas right so this is what we're going to use for the recipe and this is going to cook from scratch now as far as your veggies are concerned you could substitute all the veggies of choice that i added here but i did add chocho and pumpkin and carrot and skeleton and thyme and onion and listen i had a lot of veggies here okay but again you could substitute i will let you guys know down in the description what i added to my stew so check the description box for precise everything and measurements now you don't want to miss out on your coconut cream because your coconut cream is going to give it a lot of flavor you could have dry coconut fresh coconut powdered coconut frozen coconut whatever that you like go ahead and add it i'm also adding some garlic here because garlic make everything taste better and of course the health benefit right so we're adding a lot of garlic here and you want to also add some ginger so i'm going to just slice up a little bit of this ginger and add it into it i'm not going to add all of that ginger but i am going to add some of that ginger to it right for extra flavor and and its health benefit as well right so again don't skip out your coconut cream because they'll turn up the thing flavor now to season it up i didn't over season all i did was i was add a little bit of pimento seeds um some black pepper i um i didn't have any salt at all i just added a little bit of black pepper some cumin powder and some all-purpose seasoning and again y'all never add all the ingredients that i use for the recipe down below Please do not over season your stew okay no over season the stew you want it to be nice and jank and mellow now i'm using the 100 percent whole wheat flour here for make my spinners now you don't have to have spinners in yours but for me i love spinners in my stew like crazy love spinners so since as we're doing stew um item stew we're definitely going to go healthy on the dumplings okay on the spinners and use wheat flour instead all right, so I'm adding vinegar because vinegar make everything taste better. And of course, for the health benefit too. Now, this is how we're going to get started cooking our peas. We're going to put it on that stove top, let it boil, and let it cook until it's nice and tender. It cooks whenever your peas is ready to cook. Your peas is different from mine, so it may take longer and it may even cook faster, all right? Um, I mean, slow up, whatever. But just be sure that your peas is nice and cooked. Now you want to add in all your veggies, your um, your garlic and your ginger and your seasonings of choice your vinegar your scaling and thyme your audience that you see, just put those veggies in okay just put it all in there and allow the flavors to start to infuse and burst and do what it needs to do because your stew has to have flavor now after you've seasoned it and tasted it to your desired liking now you want to go in and add your veggies of choice your pumpkin your chocho your irish your carrot and your onions and your pepper i add a little bit of pepper even though i'm not a pepper person but a little bit of pepper tastes really good when you're making idle stew right now after you've added all of your veggies all of your veggies then you want to go in and add your spinach and again as a reminder i am using a hundred percent whole wheat flour for the recipe now my fire here is at a medium heat okay um and with my fire being here the medium heat i want this thing to take its time on bubble it mine took about i'll say 40 minutes to simmer and get the texture the consistency that I was that I was looking for because you don't want just stew to be watery and running you want everything to come together and bind and look pretty much like this okay um this is where the process stops it's all done everything is nice and tender the peas is bursting with flavor um it, it's divine y'all it is divine now with this particular kind of a stew recipe you could have it with rice and peas if you're vegetarian or vegan or if you just want to try something different okay you could add it you could have it with white rice or wheat rice 
or brown rice or whatever kind of rice bulgur rice rice and peas the choice is yours but for me i did go in and add some parboiled rice is what i use um for my recipe um and it tastes amazing amazing this is one of those comfort food where you just have to try in the kitchen because it's so simple and not not only is it simple goodie but it's filled with flavor and it has a lot of health benefit here thank you guys so 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 much for watching thank you for the love and support that you show here in the channel please continue to thumbs up your videos because it does help the channel to grow now tell me what i want to see me a quote next in the kitchen and remember as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy